We're talking about uh, ice wine today with the uh, Grand River Ice Wine Festival approaching us. Um, it is a very popular time of year for ice wine, and I know many of you have lots of questions about how ice wine is harvested, um, the process, and why it is indeed so expensive. The reasoning behind this is because the grapes are frozen on the vine, and when they're frozen on the vine, um, you get the crystallization of the sugars, but you, you still have the, the liquid, and um, you get very little juice out of these grapes. So that's why the wine is so expensive, because you're having to use three, four times as many grapes for an ice wine as you would for a normal bottle of wine. So people have a question about ice wine glassware. Uh, this is a, a somewhat of a larger bowl for a dessert wine glass, um, which is what you want so you get the aromatics of the ice wine. Um, some people even suggest that you chill your glass. You definitely serve ice wine chilled, not frozen. You don't want to put it in the freezer, but a couple hours in your refrigerator will give it plenty of um, refrigeration necessary. But you do want a, a glass with a decent sized bowl. You want to serve anywhere between maybe one and a half and two ounces of ice wine. Ice wine is considered a very clean dessert wine because um, if you look at the clarity of it, and um, it's, it's very translucent, yet it's got a really beautiful um, golden color, um, which is what you want with an ice wine. You don't want any cloudiness. You don't want any type of irregularity. You just want a really nice, clean, refreshing wine. And that's what ice wine is. It's refreshing. It's, um, it is known for um, being a dessert-style wine. And uh, many people do serve it as dessert or paired with certain desserts. Or, as we've done today, um, with a uh, pate. So a lot of times in the market today you'll see like frostbitten from Washington State is ice Riesling. Um, this is frozen off the vine. It is not frozen on the vine and the price of this is $11.99 as opposed to $24 to $30 for our Ohio ice wines. Bear in mind that this is not a true ice wine. It is the same process other than it is frozen off the vine as, as well as opposed to being frozen on the vine. And the picking of an ice wine is much, much more difficult when it's frozen on the vine. By Canadian and American standards, a 17 degree evening into morning is the perfect time to uh, pick your ice wine grapes. They have to be picked within two to three hours, um, so you need a large force of people to pick those. The Germans pick at 19 degrees. Um, and they are the origin of ice wine is with um, Germany and it is primarily Riesling over there. Whereas in America and Canada, we deal more with Vidal Blanc, Riesling and Cabernet Franc, which is an ice wine that is red.